Rachel, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Amelia, is there something wrong? Don't play dumb. You went to dinner with Mrs. Smith, right? And you made her pay for everything? Yeah, of course. Don't you know who I am? My husband is a member of the Mafia. So what? You think you can just go around doing whatever you want because your husband is in the Mafia? That's exactly what I think. Anyone who makes my husband angry will end up at the bottom of the sea, you know? I'm pretty sure there are no mafias that do things like that these days. Oh, don't you know? Mafias are evolving day by day, so it's not hard to throw people into the sea without getting caught. Do you and your husband want to end up there too? You little... That's how you threatened Mrs. Smith out of her money, isn't it? Threatened? How rude. Mrs. Smith just graciously treated me to a meal, okay? Can you please stop interpreting the situation based on your imagination? Mrs. Smith wouldn't do something like that. You wouldn't happen to be doing the same thing to the other moms, would you? Hmm, what if I am? It's not like I'm doing anything wrong. No matter how you look at it, what you're doing is wrong. People in the mafia aren't actually that bad. Other people just have a bad image of them is all. You talk about the Mafia as if you understand us. No, it's not that I understand them. Then stop trying to defend us when you don't even know what you're talking about. You sure are weird, wanting to get hurt so badly. It, it's not like I want to get hurt. I just can't stand unreasonable people. And you're using being the wife of a Mafia member as an excuse to be unreasonable. Hmm, what a strong sense of justice you have. Well then, maybe I'll treat you to a meal out of respect for you. What? Y you treat me? Yeah, why not? You should feel honored that someone wants to treat you. Uh, I think I'll pass. What? What are you saying? I'm the one who's going to treat you. You should just be honest and accept my offer. Oh, okay, I get it, so don't be angry. But what exactly are you going to treat me to? Hmm, how about some fancy drinks at a nice bar? You give off vibes of someone who's never been somewhere nice, so I'm sure you'll get hooked as soon as you try a good alcohol. Uh, by bar, you don't mean a weird bar, do you? What do you mean by weird bar? Stop suspecting me of doing weird things. Anyway, it's extremely rare for me to treat people. So you better look forward to it. I have a bad feeling about this. A few days later. Did the $10,000 bill surprise you? Another success for me. <laughs> you and all the other moms are me and my husband's source of revenue. No one can go against the mafia. <laughs> I'm on my way to your house with the mafia boss. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there was something fishy about that place. Turns out, it was a rip-off bar. How could you trick me like that? What? I don't know what you're talking about. How do you know our boss? Oh, you don't know? I'm the wife of the head of the Casa clan. What? You're his wife? Yeah, and you have some nerve tricking me. I know your husband is a lowly Picciotto, too. You're aware of the consequences of making your boss mad, right? Wait, stop telling lies. If you're really the boss's wife, then why didn't you say something earlier? Why didn't you try using that as your reason to taunt me or something? I wouldn't bother doing something like that. I'm not like you. I'd rather live my life in peace like all the other moms. Sure. I may be the wife of a mafia boss, but I always make sure not to bother good people. And then, there's you. Someone who goes around boasting that you're part of the mafia and making the rest of us look bad. So what? The mafia was already a bunch of bad people to start with. If people are already afraid of us, wouldn't it be better if we scare them even more to get their money? Shame on you for having such evil thoughts. It's true that a lot of people are afraid of us, and that's exactly why we should do anything more to scare them. Shut up! Whatever. Just don't bring the boss here. My husband is freaking out. I bet he is. It's called 
getting what you deserve. You scammed me by taking me to a rip-off bar. What are you saying? You were enjoying the meal. How was I scamming you for letting you try some good food and drinks? Um, cheese shouldn't cost $100. One glass of wine isn't worth $500 either. If that's not a scam, then what is? And that bar isn't under our jurisdiction, is it? Which would mean you're the one running it, right? No, I'm not. What is jurisdiction anyway? I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Then I suppose it's your husband's bar. I said I don't know. So what if it is? Well, I was just thinking how furious my husband would be if he found out that kind of business is going on in our territory. Huh? I mean, just think about it. If a bar in our territory is giving crappy service for ridiculous prices, then people would assume it's our doing, wouldn't they? Well, wouldn't it be better not to worry about the details at this point? Okay, I get it. I'll tell the bar to refund your $10,000, so can you please let it slide? What? Hold on. Why would you be able to do that? Huh? If it's not your bar, then how could you get them to refund me? Huh? Oh, uh, that's... Now I'm convinced. You have a connection to that rip-off bar, don't you? You've been luring easy targets there and making a profit off its revenue, haven't you? What? Don't say such horrible things based on mere speculation. We would never do something like that. Then what did you mean by telling the bar to refund me? If you have no ties with them, then you never would have said that, right? No, I just... Ah! Why are you so persistent? Are you having fun intimidating me just because you're the boss's wife? Who said anything about fun? I'm just saying that, as a clan, we can't tolerate what you're doing. Shut up. If you're going to keep on about the clan, then I'm out. What? I mean, my husband is afraid of the boss and sick of getting treated like an errand boy. Everyone is always going on about things like humanity like some old-fashioned movie while my husband doesn't even get a chance to move up. To be honest, we're sick and tired of it all. We might as well just take this as an opportunity to stay away from you people forever. I see. But I remember correctly. We never invited you into our clan. Correct me if I'm wrong. But were you the ones who got on your knees and begged to be let in? Well, the situation is completely different now. Back then, we thought that by joining the Mafia, we could gain a lot of power and control over people around us. But it takes long to realize that my husband is just a lowly worker and nothing good will ever come out of being part of your clan. It shouldn't have turned out like this. It shouldn't have? I'm pretty sure you just lack imagination. Why did you think that being in the Mafia would put you in a good position? The Mafia can't just do whatever they want in this day and age. We need to work together with the rest of the society. And yet, you keep on thinking the same way the Mafia did ages ago. But, shouldn't the Mafia be more violent and make a fortune? It's weird that we're not doing anything like that. The days of making big bucks is long gone. Members of the Mafia these days don't make a lot of money, nor are they in a way more respectable than the average Joe. But we think of each other as family. So, you should just leave. I don't get you. You don't make any money and you go around calling yourselves family and whatnot. I don't get your way of thinking at all. Or leaving your clan. That's why I'm telling you to do as you please. But before you go, we're going to make sure that both of you pay for your mistakes. P pay for our... What are you going to do with us? It's simple. You and your husband will need to pay to leave the clan. And rent for that rip-off bars of yours, too. That's all. Well, what? Stop joking around. Why should we have to do that? Because the bar isn't under our jurisdiction. And as long as it's in our territory, it needs to abide by our rules. Not only do you need to pay the bar's rent, but you need to change the prices to reasonable ones, too. No. You are finally making a little bit of money off of people. Now we can't even do that? Just as I thought. 
you really were the ones behind it. Stop fooling around. Because of you, tons of people have fallen victim to that scam. How dare you do that right under our noses? But we just couldn't help it. We weren't making anything by being part of your clan. We need a way to survive, you know? We have no choice but to make money this way, to protect our own lives. What kind of nonsense are you spewing? There's no way you could be struggling to survive after ripping that many people off. You've been spending all the money you've made off that bar and leisure, haven't you? What? Stop saying things based on speculation. It's not speculation. You have all those designer bags, shoes, and outfits to prove it. How would you be able to afford something so expensive if you're struggling financially? Like I said, that's just your speculation. I got my designer items by other means. What other means? I know you bought them with the money stole from other people. There's no use in playing innocent. It's obvious that you're in the wrong, so stop making excuses for yourself. I'm sure you'll confess everything after we send a bunch of our people to your bar. Wait, please don't. My husband is scared too. Tell him he has no reason to be scared anymore. Pretty soon, we'll be at your place to hear whatever you have to say. All you have to do to get us to leave you alone is pay a little money. It's not scary if you think about it that way now, is it? That's not the problem here. You have no idea how much my husband has to go through. And you treat us like this. You're going to regret it. Wow. Talk big even in this kind of situation. Do you not understand your position right now? Shut up. You have no idea what my husband is doing. I bet you'd be horrified if you knew a certain thing about him. Oh, really? So he's doing something that would horrify me? If it's really worth mentioning, then tell me what it is. Sure, I'll tell you. My husband is actually already part of a different clan. What? I'm talking about the Nova clan. You've heard of them, haven't you? We were never going to make any money off of you guys, so my husband said he's going to join a different clan. We're sure we can make a ton of money there. You... How can you be so stupid? You'd betray your own clan and join another? Just shut up. This is all your clan's fault for not taking care of us. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. You guys are the ones at fault. Is that so? Sure. Whatever. But are you really okay with the Nova clan? Are you sure you won't regret this? Of course not. We're going to leave you guys and become full-fledged members of the Nova clan. And if conflict ever breaks out between our clans, we'll have to fight you guys, won't we? When we do, our clan is going to beat the crap out of you. So you better be prepared. <sighs> You're painfully stupid. I'm going to give you this one last chance. Leave the Nova clan and come back to us. Because you're going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble if you don't. What? Stop screwing with me. Who would want to stay in your clan? We're going to be a part of the Nova clan from now on. I see. Well, then let me fill you in on something interesting. The Nova clan just recently merged with ours. Huh? What are you saying? The Mafia has it rough these days, so it's not uncommon for two clans to merge. The Nova clan reached out to us and asked if they could become a part of our clan. Apparently, things hadn't been going well for them. We agreed to the merge and now we're one big clan. No way! My husband is sure that he joined the Nova clan. Maybe they heard about your husband around the same time they were considering joining us. Why don't you try asking the Nova Clan's boss if that's the case? He'll probably say yes. Then, wouldn't that mean my husband is still part of your clan? Yep. Not only that, but it also means that he tried to betray us, so we need to punish both of you for that too. P punish Stop joking around. We never heard anything about a merger. Why should we have to listen to you when you just went and merged yourselves on your own? We announced it at all of our members, though, so you shouldn't be surprised. You guys never listened to the announcement, did you? Shut up! Either way, we don't want to be punished. 
me and my husband just want to leave your clan and join a different one where we can have more fun. There must have been some kind of mistake. Yeah, a mistake. You poor stupid thing. Do you think we'll forgive you if you make excuses like that? I'm sorry, but you know as well as I do that this world isn't kind, right? Decisions made are never reversed. You better be prepared. No. Why is this happening to me? No one told me this would happen. After that, Rachel and her husband ended up paying a large sum of money as punishment. They were also forced to pay for all the trouble they caused to the Nova clan. After getting kicked out of both clans, Rachel and her husband decided to cut their ties with the Mafia. One would think that this would be enough for them to lead a normal life, but it's hard for someone who was once a part of the Mafia to do so. As a result, Rachel and her husband have no choice but to work shady jobs that don't require any work history. As for me, I'll always continue to work with my husband in protecting our loyal clan members.